Okay. Okay, everyone is ready. Great. So let's start. Bab 5, ledger. So when you see a ledger, ledger basically means T. All right, ledger means T. What is T? T means uh, this one. You see, so this is the format for ledger. But the T, T means ledger, ledger means T. So you look at this thing, it's actually a shape of a T. That's why it's called Bandok T, or we call it ledger. All right, so here, you got ledger arm and ledger has not very important. Okay, later, uh, I mean, I don't need to wait until later, but right now you can see that ledger has means all the ABT and ABB, the account volume terima and account volume buyer. Okay, other than these two things, the rest are in ledger arm. Like what? Like account model, ke, account ambilan, ke, account. Uh, Alatan pejabat ke account, all the account that you can think of, all right? Except for ABT and ABB, they are all in ledger arm. They are considered under ledger arm. So there are two, ledger arm and ledger has. Just like you've got journal arm and journal has, we got ledger arm and ledger has. So ledger arm is just small account, kecuali ABT and ABB, that's it, all right? But this is not really, really important. Okay, but just to bring it up so that you know, okay, so there's a ledger, the ledger has. Okay, then this is the Bandok T, the format. We got the Tare Butulan Folio Amount. This is in the debit side, then credit side is the same. Repeat Tare Butulan Folio Amount, and then the number account, the Tajuk. Tajuk should be on top in the middle. Okay, later when we do it, then you know like how to record and use this bundle key. Okay, then remember, you see, I purposely write this out. You must remember system catatan bergu. And this system catatan bergu, I have been saying it since the first day of the class. Right, system catatan bergu. System catatan bergu. And this system catatan bergu is actually diperkenalkan oleh siapa? Lucas Pasholi. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is actually an Italian name because this guy is an Italian, all right, a math, Italian mathematician. Okay, so this Lucas Pasholi or Pasholi or Pasholi, I don't know. So this guy uh, is an expert in mathematics. So he, he knows all uh, the, the calculations, okay? So it's something like the what? Uh, I don't know, okay? So like calculus or whatever. So actually he contributed some of these uh, works to mathematics. And besides mathematics, he also contributed to accounting. Ah. All right, so this is actually in your Bab Satu, Form 4. All right, so this Lucas Pasholi is actually the one that created this, not created, but actually discovered and made this um, concept, which is called System Chetan Bagu. And eventually, all the accounting springs up from here, the System Chetan Bagu. So we we got system channel bugu and then from system channel bugu, the other people go and explore accounting and then they created more concepts. That's why Lucas especially is named as the father of accounting. Uh, just like the father of Malaysia, Raman, right? The father of independence. And then Mahadi is the father of apa, Papa uh, Pembangunan. Right, the father of modern blah blah, blah blah blah. Okay, then if you study in biology and then you, you see a lot of um all the theory, right? 
and then they will name it after a person and then they say, oh, this is a father of a modern chemistry, the father of uh, biology, something like that. Okay, so for accounting, the father of accounting will be Lucas Bachelet and he is the one that created this. And what is this actually? This system, you it sounds like a big term, okay? Like perkataan yang hebat. But actually, if you direct translate it into English, is double entry. So when you translate into English, it's actually a simpler term. Okay, double means two, and entry means what? Enter lah. All right. So that's why bracket here must be other dual account. Can you see now? Dual account. At least two accounts. Kenapa mesti dua? Because this system cara bergu in English is called double entry. You see the word double. Double means two. That's why it must be other dual account. Double. And when I enter, I must enter satu for debit side and satu side for credit side. Therefore, system cara bergu maksudnya you debit satu account and then the other account you must credit. If you credit one account, the other account must be debit. That's why I say we can never go debit and debit. Salah. We can never go credit and credit. Cannot. We can only go with debit and credit. That's why when we do buku syarikat pertama in the journal arm, what do you see? Always have one in debit side, another amount in credit side. This is how we do because we always obey system syarikat bergo. We always follow this rule. All right? So are you guys okay? If yes, give me two in the chat box. Part two. So when we come to ledger, we do the same thing. We debit and credit. We credit and debit. We cannot go debit, debit. I slap your head if you go debit, debit. Okay? So after that, then you go. This is the second part actually. Account cover. Right? So let's not continue the boring side of accounting. The boring side of accounting is actually all this theories part, all right, which I don't like it. I prefer numbers. But sometimes numbers can be really tiring. I mean, if you can relate, okay, then you understand what I'm saying. Okay, because I mean, I believe that most of the people here, I don't know, but for myself, I prefer numbers over words. Okay, like sejara or all hundred percent words. The only number you can see is what the page number at Katawa. Okay, and then also the maybe point one bab satu ah. That's the only numbers that you can see. Other than that, all other words. Amno lah. Then you see uh tun. Uh, on Jaffa la, then all these people then you need to read and then half hour half hour then you need to write karangan essay okay so I don't know all these things or BM or uh, even science I don't I don't study science why because I don't like science because a lot of words you need to memorize biology right respiratory system this system la, this system and then after all the system we go into organs after all the organs we go into the cells you need to remember all these things. But then when you come to accounting, why I choose accounting? Because numbers, right? Easier, right? You just one plus one equals to two, two plus two equals to four. Okay, but then numbers, we don't go too high level. Too high level, but not too low. Like what? At max. When you go at max, you go integration, differentiation, and then you do this, do this, do, do that. Okay, tiring again. So therefore, I come into the more the middle one, accounting. Accounting means you just use your calculator. 1,000 plus 1,000 equals to 2,000. Sometimes we need to minus, then minus. Of course, it's not only that, but you need to know debit and credit. Once you know, you faham, the concept debit, credit, which is the system, then it's actually super, super senang. Very, very easy. All right? So, but then of course, in accounting, there's about 30, 20 to 30% of words like this on the theory part. But this theory part is just to help you 
to understand the concept. After that, mostly are numbers. Ah, can you see? Okay, so uh, this is a format for Kawalan. Later, we go into it. Okay, now let's quickly try the first question. Okay, so take out your Excel sheet. I mean, my Excel sheet, and then you take out your uh, buku nota. Okay, then we will do question one together. All right, is your buku nota out? Are you ready? If yes, give me one in the chat box. Okay. All right, let's go. So before we start, all right, let's do the uh draw out the banduk key first, draw out the ledger. All right. So every time when I start this ledger class, okay, I will do one thing. Where's my where's my book? Okay, let me take this use this one. Let's say this is your buku nota. All right. So I don't care if it is a buku nota or it is your uh we call it the text pad, all right? So, it's one paper, all right? All right. So by the way, these are all my notes for my own uh, college, okay? So, all these are accounting-related stuff, a lot of numbers. Wait, let me skip to one uh, empty one, like this one, all right? So, what you can do is, or what I say is, this thing, what we can do is, you fold it into half, like this one. Like when you are folding an aeroplane, so you go to the middle, right? So you do this, and then, bam. Okay, so like that. So here become middle right here, this line. Is it not? This middle line. So now with this middle line, it's just like, here, you look at my screen. So here, let's say I do this as my middle line. Then you draw out, you can see the part here, right? Okay, so based on this thing, this will be a middle line, and then you draw a straight line here, a T. Then you form a T like that, from that. So here, three, four. See? Okay, but of course, this is what I've shown here, but actually I'm just showing you. Okay, so from here. Whoops. Okay, so something like that. All right, so one, then based on that line, you draw one line. Hori, this is what? Vertical, right? Vertical line and horizontal line. Okay, so here will be the name of the account. Okay, account, blah, 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 later. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, but what I want you to write now is here you put a debit. BT for debit. Then here you put a KT for credit. So then you know this is for your first time. So first time we do this. Okay. When you get used to it, next time, you don't need to put all this shit. Okay, you don't need to put all this stuff here. All right, you just show away what the T. All right, but for the first time, I'm showing you, so let's do it together so that you can remember. So this is a DT, this is a KT for credit side. I mean, this part is debit side, this part will be in the credit side. And then here will be your tarik. And then here will be your butiran. Okay, then your amount. If you want to here, you can put a folio, but it's uh okay, for the first time you put it there. Tare the tiran folio.
So this is a P account. You see, so this is a ledger. So next time when you're doing it, is the same as this. Okay, so next time, so let's say you want to do another one now. Okay, so what I will do, I will copy and paste. But right now, you don't need to draw this whole thing. You can actually skip this part and this part. So you can straight away write account, but you know that this is your booty run, this is your tarot, this is your amount. This is your tarot, this is your amount. I'm sorry, this is your booty run, this is your amount. Okay, do you guys understand? If yes, give me a U in the chat box. U for understand. Right, okay. So let's start. Yeah, so let's start from January 1st. Okay, so based on this, the information here, yeah, all right, so this is January sub two. We check that, but, all right, okay, but before that, let's read, okay. Malamah berikut dipoleh daripada CS trading pada bulan January 2020. So this is year, tahun 2020, this is the bulan. Okay, then dia cakap memulakan penegahan dengan modal berikut. So we are starting a business with this uh, figure. All right, so what do you see here? Tunai di bank. So I said, I mentioned a lot of times. Tunai di bank means this is will, this will be in account bank. All right, tunai di tangan. This will be in account tunai. And then perabot, perabot lah, account perabot. Then ABT, then we buka satu account belum terima. Oh, then. So now, okay, so from starting from this one, so in the middle there, you put account Tunai bank is account bank, so you put account bank. All right, account bank. Okay, so when we okay when we talk about ledger, you must bring up Abalim again, and then I will need to explain this again because. Many of you already forget. So this is Abalim A B A L H M. Here will be the debit side. This will be the debit side. Here will be in the credit side. So A for what asset? B for what belanja? A for ambilan. L for liability and H for hasil and for modal. Is it all right? So whenever you see asset belanja ambilan. When they put tambah, you'll be in the debit side. Whenever you see liability has to model, when they increase, they will be in the credit side. Okay, so come to here. So when you got Tuna di Bank, you got this amount for account bank, 25,000. This is what? This is the asset. So when it is the asset, account bank, we debit it because here. So we debit. Tari, the first thing here, you put the year first, both sides. And then under the amount that you put Ringgit Malaysia, this is what we need to have. Okay, so here on January 1st, and this must be the same, huh? must be January, the month, and the date. Okay, then from where? Kita memulakan penegaan dengan modal. Right, whenever you see memulakan penegaan, it is always started with modal. Therefore, your booty run. Here, you need to write the money from where? From my modal. So here, you put modal, booty run. How much? 25,000. You put 25,000. Yeah. Listen carefully. Pay attention. So when I put this thing in account bank under debit side, so when I say it, how do I say this, this thing? I will say I debit account bank. All right, I debit account bank. All right, let me appear again. I debit my account bank, 25,000. Okay, remember what we see just now, the system, Chatan Begu. When I debit account, one account, I need to credit an account. So now, what is the other account that we need to credit? So you need to book another account. Well, I told you what. Must need double entry, two account, debit, credit. If this credit, then this debit. All right, so I already debit my account bank. So another one I need to credit. So what 
do I credit here? You write back what you wrote in the booty run. So if in the booty run here, you write more down, now certainly I have to credit my account more down. So uh, you write account more down, under the credit side here, you put, all right? So here, we straight away, we, we can skip this part. Straight away, write the year, the tahun 2020, and the ringgit Malaysia. This must have, right? We, whenever we do a ledger, must have the tahun and the ringgit Malaysia. So here will be the same date, January 1st. Yeah, under the booty run. Okay, so this model goes to where? Goes to bank. Is it not? So bank. Modal. So under the bank here, I write modal. So when it is under modal here, I write what? I write bank. 25,000. So here for this one, I say I debit bank. Here I say I credit my modal. Because this is account modal. In account modal, it is recorded where? In the credit side. Therefore, we say credit model, debit bank. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Right. This is super, super important. All right. This is the ledger part, the T. If you can catch this one and your buku pertama, you are a king in accounting. I'm serious. All right, because when you move on to form five, you understand this ledger debit and credit concept, you should be fine. Then you move on to college, you can actually teach your course mate. You go to the university, you are the top student there for accounting subject. Other subject, I don't know, like economics, business, I don't know. But for accounting, yes, you are. If you can understand this uh, double entry debit and credit side. All right, let's continue. So this is what we have done. Remember everything here, all the small detail, if you see the number with it, it must be recorded in the ledger, which is this one. I must open an account for it. Okay, so I already opened one for bank. Okay, next, tonight, tonight. So this is an account tonight. I need to open an account tonight. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys to leave more lines for the account bank because normally account bank uh, will have more stuff right to record. So um, maybe after this one, you skip like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think seven lines. So sometimes you need to add up some degree, right? Because in the exam, you don't know like how much do we need to skip, right? So you just give more. Okay, you give more lines. You know, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think she defines seven. Okay, then you skip to model. And then for model after this one, then you skip like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you want to, okay, then you do the same thing for this one. So here now I need to open an account. Next one, two nine. Right, tonight it is account tonight. So you open account tonight. Okay, so for this account tonight, same thing. Account tonight is an asset. Asset means debit. Another way to look into it is you memulakan perniagaan. Let's say this is the perniagaan business, and then this is the pemilik, the owner. So when we say per, per million means this is the model, right? Okay, see ya. So when per million memulangkan perniagaan, per million akan membawa masuk duit. Let's say bank is 25,000 into bank. So from here, you can see where it's in, where it's out. You can see that the bank here, 25,000 is into the business and out of the per million. Therefore, in modal, out means what? Credit. And in means what? Debit. So therefore, for my account modal, I credit. I credit and I debit into my bank. Same thing for 2.9. 
you memulakan perniagaan and you put in tonight 2500 into the business therefore money comes in to account tonight therefore i debit my account tonight in january 1 from where from the same place modal so therefore here but you want to write modal how much 2500 you can see it here okay so when now i already debited my account tonight I must credit in another account. What is that account? What do you run in your booty run model? Therefore, I go to my account model here and I credit it to where? To two nine. Right back the title here two nine, and it is two thousand five hundred. If okay, give me okay in the chat box. Okay, okay. So let's continue. Go to Parabo. Same thing. Parabo is an asset. You buy one muscle asset. You bring in the asset into the business, meaning the Parabo bertambah. The asset, the Parabo comes in. In maksudnya, you have to debit your Parabo. And you book account. So you skip a few lines, five lines. All right, six ah, seven ah. Okay, for two nine, we we give it more. All right, seven. Okay, here. Do the same thing. So account what now account per abode. Let's keep the title account per abode. Okay, so in debit per abode. So in the debit side, you put January one from where from modal five thousand six hundred. So here debit, I need to credit my modal to where to per abode. So put the run in under the modal there. You write per abode. And it is five thousand six hundred. Okay, time for Parabot and then the ABT. So we got ABT Garden. So normally for Parabot, uh, you can maybe skip five lines or four lines will be enough. All right. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Then you do the same thing. Here will be account balloon. Right, the whole thing. Terima, Gordon. Same thing. ABT asset. So in the debit side here, modal thousand four hundred, and then modal here. You go to the account balloon. Here I will just put ABT Gordon. But you write, you write account belum terima ah, okay? Don't be lazy ah. Okay, have you completed? If yes, you have completed up to here. Give me one in the chat box. Only four students. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, so this is the starting of it. That is all for January first only. Done. All right. Then now we move on to third. Okay, so in third of January. Okay, so all these things, just this use concept. What to debit and what to credit. Okay, now January third, you beli barang niaga daripada KD Corp secara credit. I told you whenever you see secara credit, secara credit means that this is a account balloon. AB account balloon, but you're not sure. Is it a ABT or ABB? ABT means account balloon terima. ABB means account belum bayar. Let me write that for you. ABB is account belum bayar, and ABT is account belum terima. All right. So now, when you beli, can you see now? You beli barang niaga. You beli B. 
So you believe man, so this KD Corp is a account balloon by ABB. Yeah, so whenever you see Beli secara kredit, maksud there's one ABB and another one account will be your barang niaga. Barang niaga here will be Beli. We job barang niaga. We no longer use the word inventory here. We book a account Beli. And therefore, you skip three, four lines here. And then here you put, you book a satu account Beli. Okay, then the year, sorry, okay, now, see ya, number three ya, pay attention ya, when we beli barang niaga, you beli, you buy, maksud, the barang niaga will come in to your business, isn't it, you buy from KD Corp, okay, see ya, this is your business, and this is KD Corp, so when you beli barang niaga, the barang niaga is actually, Ship to your business. So where is in? Here is in. Can you see the arrow here? In. So here we goes out of credit card. Maksud here credit, and here in means debit. So therefore, I debit the barang niaga. Can you see now? So in account bullion here, I debit the date January third. From where? From KD Corp. Oh, this KD Corp is actually our ABB. So here you write. Account ABB ya. You you write you you write account belum bayar KD Corp. But for me, I write ABB. Okay. So you write the whole full sentence. Account belum bayar KD Corp. How much? Yang bayar four thousand five hundred. So here you put four thousand five hundred. Okay. This is just one account. Read that be one account. Another account must what? I must credit. Credit what? Credit this account. All right. So here, Berlian, normally we will have a lot of ones. So you skip about seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here will be ABB, KD Corp. So account. ABB will be belum bayar KD Corp. So you make sure you have all the 2020 Ringgit Malaysia RM. Okay, so here I read debit my belian. So in KD Corp, under KD Corp, I must credit. Is it or not? So here, same date, January 3rd. So put it on here, I write back from here. From where? From belian. So belian. 4,500. That's it. Are you done with number three? If yes, give me three in the chat box. Okay. Let's go. Four. Now, number four. You memulangkan barang yang ke kepada KD Corp kerana Rosa, you see now, kita yang memulangkan. So, KD Corp, look back lah, KD Corp. Tadi, from KD Corp, kita apa? Kita belian, kita beli. Betul tak? Sekarang, number four, kita pulangkan. So, when we have, kita memulangkan barang ni lagi, barang ni lagi means belian. So, when we pulangkan belian, it will be what? You join the word together. Pulangan, Memulangkan means pulangan and then barang niaga belian. Maksud this is a pulangan belian. You know what I mean? So this is a, there is one account, I already identified one account called pulangan belian. PB, pulangan belian. And then another account, kepada, kepada siapa? KD Corp. So these are the two accounts, one debit, one credit. Now, when you pulangkan barang niaga, See the movement of the barang. The barang actually what? I pulang, I memulangkan. Therefore, the barang niaga will goes out of my business and back to KD Corp. So look at the arrow here. This one. Oops. 
So like that, right? So here, Maksud here in already. So gonna out of my business. Therefore, I need to credit my what? My pulangan belian and debit the KD card. All right. So you skip a few lines. One, two, three, four, five, and then you book a satu account pulangan belian. Account that's account pulangan belian. Because dia keluar, all right, comes out of my business. Out means credit, so I have to credit my pulangan belian. January 4th. To where? Back to KD Corp. So you, you write account belum bayar. But I write ABB, shortcut. You cannot shortcut, okay? KD Corp. Berapa? 150. So here I already credit my pulangan belian and I mentioned KD Corp. Maksud in KD Corp, I must debit. Alright, but I don't have to book out another account KD Corp because I already have my account belum buy KD Corp. So I just use back this account. So under the debit side, I debit it. And right back from where? From pulangan belian. So here you put account pulangan belian. So do you understand for date January 4th? Yes, give me four in the chat box. Okay, so for here, I will go slowly so that you can understand clearly. Okay. Then in next class, after I've done this once, next class, I will go faster a bit because I expect you already know the basic concept. Okay, so next. Six, you draw about uh, a Is it not? Uh, this is such a tonight. Tali is such a credit. So when you see such a credit, memang ada account belum. Okay, but when you see such a tonight, you still will go into account tonight. Very straightforward. And this is jaw baron ma, right? So jaw baron shortcut, we use a term called jualan. Jualan and account to So these are the two accounts we need debit and credit. Oh, you're not sure. Should I debit or credit? Okay. First explanation to you. When you draw Baron Yager, when I sell your, when you sell anything, I don't know what you want to sell. You want to sell shirts. You sell your shirts to your friend. When you sell, what do you expect? You thirty more one from your friend. You receive money from a friend. Friend, right? You sell. You receive money lah. All right. If you don't receive money, why are you selling? You sell to make money, isn't it? So when you draw, you menerima one. You menerima the money comes in. It means what? You have to debit the tonight. So when you know we have to debit tonight, another account straight away, we know must credit. This is the first explanation. The second explanation of seeing it is you draw out, come back to here. Okay. So you have a business and you got customer, right? Okay, so when you draw Baron Yager, you draw so what the, the thing goes out. Your Baron Yager goes out. Out means what? Credit. Right now. So credit upper your, your Baron. Ma. So now, therefore, you credit your Jalan. So because your Baron Yager keluar, you draw Baron, ma, Baron keluar. So you credit your Jalan. We don't credit Berlian. Okay, because we, why do we don't show we credit billion? Why do we need to book a, do account one billion John? The reason is because we want to know the Joomla billion at the end of the, at the end of the month or at the end of the year. If we, semua barang hantam into billion, we only know billion. We don't know how much 
we kita sudah jual. Isn't it? Therefore, I need to separate. When I jual, I put account jualan. When I buy thing, I beli barang ni juga, I put account belian. So at the end, I know berapa yang saya sudah beli, berapa yang saya telah jual. If ada pulangan, another account again. So that I know berapa yang actually pulang. Then only outside when we go to account perdagangan, yang untung lagi, I minus from there to get the profit, the untung yang bersih. Do you understand not? If yes, give me a yes first in the chat box. That's why we have account jualan, account belian, account pulangan belian, account pulangan jualan. We cannot share away minus from that. And that's why we don't use the word account inventory. Do you see now? Because account inventory, I don't know when I sell, when I when I beli. I don't know how much yang kita beli, kita yang jual. I want to be more specific. Therefore, I go one account jualan, account belian. All right? Okay. So where am I? Yeah, number six. Okay, so six year you draw barang, therefore I send to account jalan, and because the barang keluar, therefore I credit account jalan. So uh, skip a few lines. The pulangan beli normally is a little bit only, so you can skip like one, two, three, four, and then you book us into a new account called account jalan. Okay, so. Because barang ni kalau I credit jualan, this is January six. Okay, so I jual barang ni aga. What do I get in return? I get money tunai secara tunai mah kan. So tunai here berapa ringgit? Thousand three hundred. Therefore, now already credited my jualan. Done credit. What about debit? Debit, what you what you write in the booty run to nine right? Therefore, I debit my account to nine here. Account to nine here, right? From where? From Jalan. How much? Thousand share. The figure must be the same. Must 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 be the same. Thousand share must be the same. Is it thousand share? Thousand share. So one you debit or two nine. And then that video, Jalan. It's a bit too down. Here, a bit. All right. Okay. Next. Uh, done six. We go ten. Then beli barang niaga secara tunai. So you beli barang, then this will be belian lah. Alright, secara tunai. You show it go tunai. So you beli barang, barang comes in. It means you debit belian. You debit belian when you buy thing, you buy ah. You buy ah maksud apa? You want keluar, therefore you credit your tunai. Can you see? It's very logical, common sense. Alright. So now we debit. The belian account belian. I already open account belian, right? So you use back the account. You don't need go and you don't go and open account belian one, account belian two, account belian three. Ah, number four, I will slap you. Okay, you really book up. You use back the same account, ah, right? Okay. So here you continue. Ah, to where? So chapter two nine. So you write two nine. By the way, this is in tenth. How much? Ah, tenth. Five hundred, right? Lima ratus ringgit. So I debit my belian. So now I need to what? I credit my tunai because one kelak. So I really open my account tunai. So make sure your eyes are open big big. You see, you don't go and repeat. Book out the same thing. Okay. So January ten. So this money kelak credit to mana? For the billion, here you put your own right billion. Five. Okay, then for ten we go twelve. Gordon menyelesaikan baki hutangnya dengan check. Who is Gordon? Kenapa suddenly ada Gordon keluar ke sini? If you look back, actually just now we already opened satu account belum terima for Gordon. Is it not? Thousand four hundred ringgit. And then this Gordon sekarang 
menyelesaikan baki. Baki is how much? 1,500 ringgit. Ini dengan check. Check. Whenever you see check, check means bank. When you see tunai, tunai is tunai. Check is bank. Tak akan dia cakap baki, uh, menyelesaikan baki hutang ini dengan bank. Is tak logik, right? Just like you go to, let's say you got a debit card. Right? If you have one, you use debit card, you pay on the shop. All right, so you scan your debit card. Do you say, oh, I buy it in a bank? That makes sense. All right, so what do you say? I buy it in a card sale. But then we know that when you pay by card, master, your bank account automatically will be credit card deducted. Right, your one will still be sent from your bank account to the shopper, to the shop. All right, so same thing when they say, when you say, dengan guna, menggunakan check. Membayar dengan check is actually referring to our account bank. Do you understand? If yes, give me a check, C-E-K, in the chat box. Okay, so you see check meaning bank. Okay, so now, Gordon is actually our ABT. So, Gordon menyelesaikan maksud Gordon. Bayarkan cek itu kepada kita. Gordon is paying to us. Kita menerima wang daripada Gordon. Kita menerima cek daripada Gordon. Therefore, cek means bank. I will have to debit my bank. Here. 12. Because money comes in. From siapa? Account belum terima. Gordon. How much? 1,400. And I read debit my bank. I need to go to my account belum terima Gordon here and credit it. This is fourteen. Oh, sorry, it's twelve. Here, using bank check thousand four hundred. Is it not? So at first. Other ABT. Okay. And then now the buyer. So you clear, you out. Okay. After 12, we go to 13. Menjual barang niaga. When you see a menjual barang niaga, you sure we know this is a jualan. Okay. Secara, nah, see credit. Secara credit. When you see secara credit, straight away, you know that this is an AB. What is AB? Account balloon. But is it account belum bayar or account belum terima? You need to see the front. The kata, kata kerja sini. This is job. So when you draw barang, what will you do? Kita akan menerima... <coughs> Excuse me. Kita akan menerima wang. Menerima. Kita dah bayar. When you beli, then kita bayar. When kita jual, kita akan tunggu untuk menerima wang. Therefore, this credit will be account belum Terima ABT. Because what is such a credit? Credit means you draw around sekarang. Let's say I have a book here. I sell you the book now. You already taken the book, but you haven't paid me yet. I haven't received the money yet. Haven't received, you change into BM, you translate into BM, meaning what? Belum terima. That's why you draw, you belum terima the one. Therefore, it's called account belum terima. Kedai cita-cita. So now I need to buka account belum terima kedai cita-cita. So for jualan, you can skip like some lines, are right? So you can skip five to six or seven to eight, up to you. Account belum terima. The name, must write the name up. If not, I don't know siapa tu. It is kedai cita-cita. So write kedai cita-cita. So, now, debit or credit thing. Ah. When you draw barang, barang niaga itu apa? Keluar. Therefore, I know I must credit my jualan. Where's my account jalan up here, right? Okay, I credit my account jalan because barang ni agak keluar. 
So here, do it. Sepa. Kedai cita-cita. So you write account belum terima. Kedai cita-cita. How much? Uh, 2,000. Okay, so I already credit my jawlan. Now I need to debit my ABT. Kedai cita-cita. So in the debit side here, January. What's the day? Uh, uh, 13. Jawlan. 2000. So I must write back the name of this title here. Here, then here you write this one. Like that. That makes sense, right? So you draw Baranege, so Baranege will keluwa, so I credit my jualan. The Baranege goes to Sepa, goes to Keda Chita Chita, therefore I debit Keda Chita Chita. Because it's coming into Keda Chita Chita. All right? So now down with 30, we go to 16. Now, Keda Chita Chita memulangkan Baranege kerana salamun. Now, now Keda Chita Chita, okay. Better I draw out diagram, you understand. So, now, kita business ke sini. This is kedai cita-cita. Tadi kita jual barang kepada kedai cita-cita. Therefore, kita credit and debit kedai cita-cita. That's what happened. I debit kedai cita-cita and then I credit my jualan. Okay. Sekarang, kedai cita-cita apa? Memulangkan barang niaga. Really again? Kedai cita-cita memulangkan perniagaan barang niaga kerana selalu mana? So, memulangkan. So, now dia pulangkan baru niaga itu. Therefore, now what happens? The baru niaga comes back to us. Come in now. So, therefore, I need to debit and credit from kedai cita-cita. You see? And because study is a jualan, right? And then now kedai cita-cita nak pulangkan, memulangkan, meaning this is a pulangan. And for kedai cita-cita, kita jual kepada dia. Therefore, it will be called a pulangan jualan. All right, so I need to book us up to account. Pulangan job. So you can see now the thing is coming in. All right, so I need to debit. My pulangan jualan. This is which date? Uh, 16. That'd be my pulangan jualan. From siapa? My ABT kedai cita-cita. How much is it? It is uh, 100 ringgit. 100 ringgit. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. 100 ringgit, right? Yeah, 100 ringgit. So I debit, now I need to credit. So debit, pulangan jalan, credit my BD because it comes out, ma, right? Out of the kata cita cita, therefore I need to credit. To add to pulangan. Okay, then we go to 18. Pemilih membuat ambilan barang niaga untuk kegunaan sendiri. So, when you say ambilan and for sendiri, therefore, this is ambilan. Why do I say you need to look at this one also? Because sometimes they will say, pemilih membuat ambilan barang niaga untuk promosi. Untuk sample. Ah, So, when you see something like that, you cannot put into the ambilan. You must put into promosi account. Account promosi. But then if you see untuk kegunaan sendiri, kegunaan kediaman, untuk uh, anak sendiri, you see something about myself, about the pemilik himself, then there is an ambilan like this one. Alright, so now you buka satu account ambilan. And then another one is what? You ambil apa? Ambil baru niaga, right? So when you see a baru niaga, this one you put into belian. 
So whenever you see an ambulance barang niaga, then we need to debit ambulance and credit barang niaga. So we buka satu account ambulance. But why do we debit ambulance? Why do we credit barang niaga? Now think. This is what happens. So this is a business and the pemilik. Okay. So now when pemilik ambil barang daripada business, this is not the direction. We debit and credit here. Here is outright. Here is in. So therefore debit and credit. You credit what for your ambil barang niaga? So you credit your um uh, barang niaga will be belian. We call it belian. And then you credit, you cannot credit modal or, or permile. You need to, I mean, sorry, you cannot debit modal or permile because modal, like just like Belen and Jola, I need to know like modal berapa yang saya bawa masuk and then ambilan already ambil berapa. You draw how much. Therefore, I need to do a separate account. So here you debit ambilan. Okay, so it comes into the permile and then it goes out from the business. Therefore, it's credit. So here you debit. What's the date? January 18. To where? To your uh, from where? From your billion. Uh 30 ringgit. 30 ringgit. And so I already debit my ambulance. I need to credit my billion. So I remember I already opened a account billion. So now I need to go and credit it. January 18, here you send to your ambulance. 30. Done. Okay, we go to 19. Check and debris only Golden Dita Party. Check Talaku. Eh, when you see a check Talaku, what is check Talaku? Check Talaku, maksudnya, uh, check it to. Uh, is not successful, just like payment not successful. All right, so tak berjaya. So when that thing happens, I need to reject the amount. So tadi Gordon, when you look back, ah, Gordon, ah, you go, you look for Gordon. In 12, ah, this one, Gordon menyelesaikan baki hutangnya dengan check, 1,400. Therefore, tadi already, credit, my ABT and debit my account bank because money comes in. Yeah, here, I re-debit my bank. Money comes in. But sekarang, dia cakap, check and debris ini, 1,400 daripada Gordon, kita pati, <coughs> check talaku. Meaning, it is not successful. So when it is not successful, I need to take it out. And what happens is you need to reverse it. So tadi, I, what happens? I credit, you look for the data, I credit my ABT Gordon and I debit my bank. So when you have a check article, you reverse it. So now it becomes what? I need to credit my bank and debit back into my ABT Gordon here. So what you're going to do is you credit here, credit your bank. It is January 19. And then back into ABT Gordon. Um, 1,400. Okay, so you credit your bank, then you must debit, right? So you debit back into your ABT. This is what happened. This one and this one. Okay, so now in done, we move on to 24. Okay, last four. Menjelaskan hutang sepenuhnya kepada KD Corp dengan check for 1,350. But who is our KD Corp? KD Corp is actually our account. Belum bayar. Kita hutang to KD Corp. And sekarang kita menjelaskan hutang. 
pun dengan cheque meaning what kita bayar cheque kepada KD Corp I pay KD Corp to clear off the debt alright so now when you bayar kepada KD Corp alright so bayar means what jelaskan hutang means what your money goes out cheque means I told you just now bank therefore I need to credit my bank so bank here credit to separate to KD Corp. So you write account balloon buyer KD Corp. By the way, this is on 24th. So KD Corp buyer brapa 4,350. So when I do that, I credit my bank. I need to debit one. I need to debit this one. But book run here, KD Corp. So I need to go to my account balloon buyer here. KD Corp and debit. So this is on uh, 24th. And then bank. How much? It is on um, 4,350. Sometimes you need to be careful. Huh? Sometimes they, they won't tell you, but you need to know yourself. You need to see yourself if there is a discount or not. Like for this question, check. This is a, like a Toronto for you. You really know what to do later. Then you zoom nakan. See if it's see if it is inbound or not. Four thousand five hundred. Four thousand five hundred. Meaning, tadi bunyi berlian is four thousand five hundred, right? From generated. You see, ah, this is what, uh, what does the ledger does? All right, or what does the ledger do? Okay, so you look at this one generated, generated. You go back to generated. What happens? Kita beli barang yang kita daripada KD Corp. So you credit four thousand five hundred. Meaning, I, I buy four thousand five hundred ringgit punya barang yang kita daripada KD Corp. Tapi saya belum bayar lagi. All right, I haven't paid to KD Corp. That's why I credit my ABB and debit my belian tadi sini. Okay, so there is four thousand five hundred. But then on January fourth, on January fourth, saya pulangkan barang ni aga. 150 ringgit. Can you see not? So when I pulangkan, for, uh, supposedly it's 4,500. And then now you minus 1,000, I mean sorry, 150 ringgit because you pulangkan. Can you see not? Therefore, balance how much? So currently hutang dia berapa? 4,250. And therefore now on 24th, kita bayar 4,250 to clear off. Therefore, here equals to zero. So, sekarang, sudah, that's why here dia cakap, jelaskan hutang sepenuhnya. But sometimes, walaupun uh, the balance is 4,250, but the question can say, kita hanya bayar 4,000 ringgit. Okay, here they give you 4,000 ringgit, and then dia cakap hutang Menjelaskan hutang sepenuhnya. Okay, sepenuhnya, tapi 4,000 sahaja. But here kita hutang lagi 4,350. What happens? Meaning the 350 ringgit is the discount. Ah, uh, Sometimes you come, come across this kind of question. So you need to know yourself. You need to see and understand. Alright, okay. So this is uh, what you've done. Alright, so completed. This one, I already debit my ABB and credit my bank here. Okay, so move on to 25th, you buy a kada bayar dengan tunai. So you other account tunai, you, you buy a right, buy a means what? You credit your account tunai. So here you credit your tunai, gas money keluar. To ke, ke mana? Kada bayaran. So you here right, kada bayaran. Kada bayaran, my right? So you have an account kada bayaran. Later. 200, and then this is on 25th. So I already credit my account to nine. Now I need to debit my kada bayaran account kada bayaran. Account. Kada bayaran. So January. 25th from where from 29 200 is it or not so it's always 
credit, debit. Debit, credit. Okay, on the 25th, we go to 28th. Membayar sewa kereta dengan cek. So, dengan cek means bank. So, you need to go to your account bank because you buy it, right? Buy it. What happens to your bank? Your money keluar. Keluar means you credit. So, on the 28th, money keluar. So, when money keluar, to where? Sewa kereta. So, you buy it, sewa kereta. This sewa is actually what? A sewa dibayar. So, you need to write sewa dibayar. How much? Uh, 1,500. When I credit my bank, I need to debit what? Debit this account. Saver dibayar. You buka satu account. Saver dibayar. So, tadi, what? I pay, I buy, therefore I credit bank. So when I credit bank, I must debit. Lah, right? So here in the debit side, on the debit side, I debit bank. From where? From bank. Done. Okay, last one. 30. You buy a gaji secara tonight. Therefore, you buy a money ke luar. Kerala means credit. So in under account tonight here, because this is a charge tonight, therefore under account tonight, I credit on 30th. Double gaji, right? So in the book, you can write gaji. And then here you write 600. So when I credit account tonight, I must what? Debit gaji. So you book out another account called gaji. Account gaji. So, tadi saya sudah credit tunai. So, now in gaji, I need to debit it. Then we take it. Tunai, tunai, right? Okay, so tunai, 600. Done. You see it? So, gaji 600 and then dengan apa? Dengan tunai, right? So, therefore here. I credit my account tonight and debit my account gaji. So, this is how you do for your ledger. Okay, so who have done up to 30th? If yes, you give me a 30 in the chat box. 3, 0. Yeah, I really try my best so that, right? Yeah, but not done yet. Okay, we really move, okay, all the mandumat into this part here, all right? So next, the last step is to close the account and hunt that to February. Because now we're doing for January. All right, we already done all the January part. Now we need to move into February. So how do we close for January? So very simple. All right, you just need to understand one concept. Then we can do everything here. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, let's look at account bank first. Here. Okay, so for this account bank, you skip one line, right? So like this one, one line. Okay, then here you put one line, double line. Pay attention, huh? Okay, then you see 
Is it a debit side bigger or credit side bigger? So this is 25,000. Here I add up, I don't think it's more than 10,000. Therefore, the debit side bigger, lah, right? So you add up and put into Joomla here. 26,400 and then here the Joomla must be the same. The Joomla must always be the same. Huh? This is a Joomla. Huh? So the Joomla on the debit and credit side must, must, must be summer. Okay, so therefore the credit side is 26,400 juga. So now, if you add up this three thing, definitely and surely 100% equal to 26,400. So what we're going to do now is here, okay, use the calculator, use 26,400 minus 1,400 minus 4,250 and minus the sewer dibaya, the 1,500. Then you will get 19,150. Right, 19,150. This thing we call it <coughs> a Baki HP. And then you must put a date for it. It is the always the last date. So in January, how many days are there? There are about 31 days, right? 31. So the last day will be 31st. So Baki HP. And when we have a Baki HP, there must be a Baki BB. And Baki BB must always be on the other side. So let's say your HP is in the credit side, then your BB will be on the debit side. So this will be in a new month, all right? Baki BB, after January 31st will be what? The next day will be 1st of February. Therefore, here will be February 1. So you bring back this figure, 19150. And what is HB? Baki HB means... Baki Hanta... Bawa and Baki BB means Baki Bawa ke Bawa. And I think we already did this in uh, Buku Tunai, right? All right, so you actually do the same thing for Buku Tunai and here. All right, the HP and BB, Handa ke Bawa and Bawa ke Bawa. So Handa ke Bawa. Yeah, again, for model. So model, only one right here. So here, one line, double line. Jumla, definitely here is kosong. So zero, here will be the bigger figure, right? So jumla can you get to 34,500. So the jumla must be the same. Debbie and Kodisa, so 34,500. So what is the figure here? The way this is uh, 20. So the figure here will be 34,500 minus 0, 34,500. All right. So the last day will be January 31st, and this will be the Bucky HP. And when we have Bucky HP, there must be a Bucky BB. So if HP is in the debit side, then the BB will be in the credit side here. So Bucky BB. Next day, February 1st. 34,500. So you actually do the same thing for all the accounts. So let's continue. So here, so for account to nine, this side is bigger. So if you're not sure yet, so then you skip the line first, and then one and double line. So I think it's that is a big goal because that is a four digit credit is only three digit. So here credit 3,800. Then how much is here? You use 3,800 minus 500 minus 200 minus 600. You get 2,500. So this 2,500 we call the Bucky HP. 31st. So when you have a HP, there must be a BP. Okay, then for account per boat, okay, look at this account per boat. This 
is easier. Why? Because only one figure, ma. you don't have to add up anything, right? So here you can straight away put double line. 5,600 in the debit side and then credit side, couple line as well. So you just 5,600 like that. Because you don't need to add. Like this one, you need to jump like that. This one, only one figure. You sure we know it's 5,600. So you don't need to put the figure. Then you put HPBB. HB, BB, and Then this one, so a line double line. When that is a bigger, right? So two thousand eight hundred, two thousand eight hundred minus thousand four hundred. It doesn't find it. This goes by K H H P then B B on the double side. Okay. Then for a Cambodian, okay, one and double line. Yeah. So that is size bigger, so you debit credit. 5,000, here you use the 5,000 minus the 30. You get 4970, 4970 will be your THP. You have a HP, bring down to BB. Same figure, 4970. Okay, after done, we continue, all right? So all these things, you need to close it. Uh, 2300, 2300, 2300. So this is your bucky HP. One. So when you HP, then there will be a bucky BB channel. This one, skip one line because. Uh, you need to have one line, one space for the Baki HB, right? So just keep one line, one line, double line. 2,100, which size is bigger? 2,000. So now it will be 2,000. Minus 2,000 minus 100. Get 2,900. This will be a Baki HP. When you have a Baki HP, you will have a Baki DP. Okay, this one easy, all right? Only one figure, you don't need Joomla. Share away double line. Right. HB then, BB. Add three. Same. The T or the line, then the Byron. All this one, one, only one figure didn't add anything, where a single one just do the same thing. All right, so then last, okay, then this one really done this now, right? So it's, you can see it's the same thing. Like for this one, there's no HB and BB. Why? Because it's really clear, right? So because both add up together is equal to 4,500. You have 4,500, 4,500 on the credit side, debit side. So therefore, there's no HP or BB. Okay, then we skip to here. Pulangan Pulian.
we have 50. So since the HP is in the debit side, so the BB will be in the credit side. G. Six hundred and DB. Boom. So you need to do all this, all the accounts. All right, you guys done? If done, give me a D-O-N-E done. <clears throat> this is very simple, actually. As you can see, is repeating itself. All right, so if you're done, then of course, you know me well. I won't let you go without giving you homework. Okay, so take a look from forward book, this one, the Polangi one. <clears throat> Turn it and then go to page. Okay, so first go to page 84, uh, sorry, 85 first. And then you have to do question. Oops, page 85. Do question three, question four, question five. Okay, and then page 99, do question five, question six. So question page 85, four, I mean, sorry, question three, four, five on the page 85 are actually a buku sharam patamo. And you see a document again. You need to transfer the document into the Buku Shana Padamo. That is on uh, page 85. 3, 4, 5 question. And then on page 99, question 5 and 6 is your ledger. Right. So after you learn this, chill, we put into practice, do all these questions. And then I will see you in the next class. All right. So I'll see you next week. Take care. Goodbye.